Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to install our soffit termination system in an open soffit, as you would see in new construction. Everything is included in the box. There's a screw pack, instruction sheet, complete with a QR code, so if you get lost, you can scan that with your smartphone. In the screw pack, it is a number eight screw. And before you get off the ground onto the ladder, I would take the number eight screw out, snap it into the grill. The grill is designed with a slight capture feature on the back end, so once the screw is inserted, it won't fall out. Now, once you get up to working height, I would put a nail or a screw in the side of the building, hang the grill there, now you know where the grill is and the screw. At this point, I would go ahead and determine where I'm going to mount the bracket. On typical 24-inch on center roof trusses, I put a mark right in the center of the tail of the trusses. I use a little clamping device. I'm going to line up the center screw hole with my mark and then make sure that I'm flush with the fascia board in this situation. Remember this bracket is designed to be flush with the top of the soffit panel across to the F channel. So mounting the bracket flush with your fascia board on typical soffits puts you right where you need to be. Now using one of the number six screws that we provide, I'm going to put one in the center hole. And remember, you don't have to reef on them, they're only three quarter inches long, and it's a plastic bracket and the fitting isn't very heavy, it's not going anywhere. There's two. Kind of nice working in the shop, don't get rained on here very often inside. Now we can go ahead and take the vent body, snap it into the track, like so. And now we can rotate it anywhere we need to, any direction. In this case, because I mounted it between the tails of the trusses, I'm going to rotate it approximately 45 degrees one way or the other. I have the ductwork coming from this side. I always try to hold the ductwork tight against one of the tails of the trusses so that when the insulator stuffs the overhang, they're not likely to take and compromise the ductwork. Again, for demonstration purposes, I have the insulation liner off of this. Make sure you always use fully insulated ductwork. Now, after I got it approximately rotated where I want, I'm going to take the inner liner and snap it completely on to our stub connector. We have an inch and a half of stub connection length there to give you plenty of room to get your liner on, and a full three-quarter inch shoulder here to prevent you from going on too far and to make sure there's room to seal the liner to the duct stub in adequate fashion. Once I have that located so I've got a nice radius on that flex duct, I want to lock the vent body in place, again using number six screws that we provide. Again, everything's plastic, no need to over torque them. I got my clutch set only at number six. Run those in. Now to complete the mating surface, we have a bracket cap, simply snaps on, and the final number six screw is used to retain the bracket cap. At this point, I'm ready to tape the ductwork. Make sure that you always use UL181 approved tape. Most of this tape comes in two inch width. I like to take and cut one first one inch wide so that I can get an excellent seal on that shoulder to make absolutely sure that I'm not going to have any moisture bleeding out into the overhang that may get back into the attic. Once I have that one inch piece on, then I'll go around completely with a two inch piece, pull the insulation liner down, chink that insulation liner with a tie wrap, and you're good to go there. Now all we need to do is install the grill so the soffit guy knows where that is later on. The screw's already captured as we pointed out. So I can go ahead and just lightly put that up there. At this point, we're pretty much done. Now I'd go back in the house, finish my duct connection at the fan. That way there's very little, if any, waste. You're inside off the ladder. It's not raining and you can get off the ladder outside, out of the elements, much faster. If you take a close look here, 
This vent body is designed so that this system will work even as in a narrow soffit as narrow as 12 inches. This happens to be 18 inches, but it'll work on a 412 pitch roof as well. Most conventional soffit fittings that load from the top would automatically force you to shove the ductwork up against the roof sheeting, compromising the ductwork, leading to poor airflow. This whole system was designed with user-friendly features so that you can make better time, better profit, improve airflow.